YouTube video is coming about the sweat behind the scenes in preparation for the tournament. So I'm gonna show you guys the, the hidden tech. This was my emergency strategy against Warlock. I'll, I'll show you guys a lot of stuff. We'll talk about everything leading up to it. We'll talk about everything, guys. It's all out there. I have nothing to hide. So I spent all that time farming this, uh, this Shadow Res gear for it to, in the end, just be completely fucking trash anyway. Uh, it's a shame it didn't work. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys about all the sweat that happened, okay? This is story time, it's story time, it's story time. Okay, so let's talk about this. So, on Skull Rock, there is this pattern, right? It's called Stygian Set. Rune, Stygian boots, leggings, and uh, the belt. So, the stats on this set is Stamina, Shadow Res, MP5 on all of them, okay? Now, in order to get the Rune Stygian Set, this is what you gotta do. You gotta get the pattern. Now, unfortunately, no one on the server had the pattern. The, the way you get the pattern is you get it in this box right here. So let's go, Ruined Stygian Boots. So if you wanna get this, you get it from this box. It's a 2% drop in this box, right? In order to get this box, you have to do a quest chain all over in Silitus here, which unlocks Hermit or Tell. This quest chain, uh, it involves like killing a bunch of mobs, blah, 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 blah. You turn in 10 Twilight Texts, he takes it, and then eight hours later, he sends you a mail with the box. Now, you can buy those on the auction house. The problem is, hold on, no, 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 you guys haven't, you guys haven't heard anything yet. The problem is, there is no Twilight Texts on the entire auction house on uh, Score Rock Horde. So, what I did was, I did the whole quest chain, then I made an alliance character, paid people to summon me to Booty Bay, made a second alliance character, and I'll present them to you right now. I'll be back at the Senzu. Don't go anywhere. Uh, so if you go back here, I present to you, ladies and gentlemen, El Haglo in Stranglethorn Vale. And of course, his brother, El Sasso in Stormwind City. El Haglo, I would sell the best jerky that money could buy, 500 gold on the neutral auction house. Buy it on, I would trade a friend and then he would buy it of El Haglo, or uh, uh, yeah, of El Haglo. Then El Haglo would send his gold to El Sasso. El Sasso would then go to the auction house on the Alliance side, buy up all of the Twilight texts, send them back to El Haglo. Then El Haglo posted them on the neutral auction house. And then my friend again had to instantly snipe it because you can't buy your own auctions. He would buy all of the Twilight texts, trade them to my mage, who would then go to Silitus every day and turn in hundreds and hundreds of texts. I turned in so many texts until I got all three recipes. We got all of the three recipes, okay, on the mage. This took us probably like 1,500 gold straight up. We bought up the entire auction house supply on Ali's side every time it was up. Uh, so we did that, okay? And then we were the only person on the server who could craft runes, dig and set. Then we ran UBRS. Now, UBRS, as you guys might know, I pretended for the longest time that I wanted this trinket. I could not give a rat's ass about this trinket. The reason why I was doing UBRS was because this guy drops this helmet right here, Dragon Skin Cowl, okay? Because I didn't want this, any of this to leak because this was my snuts deck. And I knew if I run into snuts, I'm gonna need some shit. The way this works is this boss has a 12.87% chance to drop the dragon skin cowl. And then the dragon skin cowl, as you can see, it says random enchantment. That is always a random resist. So this is a 16% chance of a 13% chance. So it's basically 2% chance to drop. I ran so much UBRS until I got the right one. Then I did all of the turn-ins 
over at EPL, which costed me even more gold to enchant it with 10 Shadow Reds, okay? I ran Scolomance. This is a 1.5% drop rate ring, and it can proc a random resist. I ran Scolomance until I got fucking exalted with Argent Dawn. Then, every single day for the entire tournament, since like day five, I looked for the Talisman. The Talisman right here. This is a 0.1% or like 1% drop in Dire Maul off of trash. And it's not just any trash. It's that those specters in Dire Maul that drop this thing. And it did not exist on the auction house until the very final week of the tournament where it popped up on the Alliance auction house. The guy posted it for 700 gold, 400 gold bid. I stayed up the whole night watching the auction because I didn't have that much gold. So I bid 400 and I scouted it like it was the black market fucking auction. El Suso was on fire. Then, after I got the talisman, I had to move the talisman. So I sent it over to El Haglo. El Haglo posted it on the neutral auction house. And my friend was ready to snipe it. Guess what fucking happened? A fucking bot level one in Strangletorn Vale bought it before my friend i swear so now i'm whispering some like level one chinese bot actually he might even be online let's check oh wait this is alliance let me log on horde no way i swear i swear there was a level one chinese bot called greetings all that fucking sniped it so now i'm haggling with this fucking bot trying to buy my own neck back and I don't want him to know, yo, I'm fucking desperate. I'll go for 500 G if that's what it takes to buy this fucking thing. So I whisper him, I was like, yo, dude, you bought my auction. Like, you know, uh, fair play to you. Uh, do you mind selling it to me? He's like, how much? I was like, I'll give you 100 G. Does that sound good? He's like, yeah, that sounds good. We got the neck. We got the, the Stygian set. We got the rings. We got all of the shadow resist shit that we needed. We're starting to stack it up. There was one thing missing though. And that, my friends, is Juno's Shadow. Juno's Shadow, which is a cloak, which drops in Stratholm. 0.1% drop rate cloak. This bad boy appeared on the Alliance side. I did all of this off stream, obviously. Yes. This bad boy appeared on the Alliance side. We bought it. We smuggled it over successfully. Then we also bought... The shadow resistance rings and not only did we buy the shadow resistance rings every time i saw a frost res ring on the auction house i bought it and deleted it like you can see here i have two frost res rings uh i just bought every time i saw them i just bought them and deleted them just so people wouldn't fuck with me you know in the tournament <laughs> when i say there was sweat you guys have no idea how much sweat there was there was oh, holy shit, there was sweat so we got the full Shadow Res set, okay? We got the uh, Stygian boots. We got the ring from Skolo. We got the uh, Shadow Resist green ring, almost top roll. We got the, the gloves from Skolo. We got the Shadow Reflector. We got, and this is Adi. where we're, this is where it gets even more interesting. We got the Funeral Cuffs with Shadow Res. We got uh, the Sorcerer Ropes for Spell Pen to counter Frost Res. And we got the uh, Argent Shoulders, which I, again, crafted myself. We got the I Eidolon Talisman, and we got the Dragon Skin Cowl. So, at this point, we're looking at 259 Shadow Rays. Now, Zico. this number would actually Bien be parla. higher. So, this would be 265 with um, uh, without any buffs. And we would also use Gift of Arthas, which is another 10 Shadow Res. And also, we had this uh, elixir. Uh, do, I, do I still have any left? I don't think I have any more left, but I used them up on uh, in the tournament. But it's an elixir that lasts 30 minutes. It's undispellable, and it gives 15 to all res. So we had all of that. Oh, yeah, wait. We're missing this one. Okay, so we're sitting at 275 res. With the gift of Arthas, we would be at 285. And then with the uh, pot, we would be at 300, which is hard cap. Hard cap. You cannot have more resistance than that. Uh, I mean, you can, but it doesn't do anything unless they have spell pen. Then, 
and Peyo can attest to this because I was in calls with Peyo. Yes, yes, I would have Mark of the Wild and I would have Shadow Protection too, but I didn't want to risk getting my shit dispelled or somebody dying who can buff me. Because you guys saw in the finals, I didn't have Shadow Protection. I didn't want to rely, rely on anything in the in a, that, that would take me under the cap. Now, I'm going to show you guys a website. This website, I would have, let's say, 4,000... 500 health in my resist set and 300 shadow res this would give me almost 16k effective health now with shadow protection pot i would be at like let's say let's say 8,000. so i would be a literal raid boss now my strat against snuts was and this is where you get sweating this is payo can if you ask payo about this he will confirm this i was in fucking Rage fire chasm every single night leveling my fucking staff. This took so long to level and I wanted headmaster's charge specifically for snuts and I enchanted it with demon slaying and you guys remember I told you guys oh yeah I want demon slaying because it looks cool. I wanted demon slaying and you know what else I wanted? I wanted melee jujus. I wanted the jujus. You see these? uh attack power and strength jujus i was gonna use that and i was gonna use elixir of demon slaying which gives you 265 ap against demons specifically and i was gonna run at snuts with thirty thousand health spam sheeps on him and auto attack his fucking dog that was my strat that was 100 percent my strat now the reason why i didn't do this strat after spending probably three or four thousand gold, I decided, well, shit, it's time to test my theory here and see if it works. So I went out in Durotar and I dueled a warlock and I dueled a priest. And what I thought was going to happen was that I was going to resist everything he does. I was going to get mana back every time I resist and I was going to be completely unkillable. That was the strat. And eventually I would just outlast him, kill his dog and win. Now what actually happened, and this is where we need Desenzo here, our homie. Now I want you to max rank, pain me, spam it like 10 times in a row. Without, without, the, without letting it uh, even tick, just spam it. So as you can see here, it says resist, but what I'm resisting is the application of uh, you know like the dot shadow weaving but the dot itself can never resist so i'm resisting this the shadow vulnerability i thought i was going to be able to resist the dot application you see every time he dots what i resist is shadow vulnerability but i can't resist the actual dot now i'm not sure if that's how it was i can only resist the dot if he's not hit capped and you know like the natural one percent so I'm not sure if that's a thing. And also, okay, okay, stop. Now look at look at my damage that I'm taking. Actually, wait, we need to, uh, we need to do a, a complete new dot, okay? Only do one dot, uh, one dot and let it finish. Okay, so I'm gonna cancel my shield here. And I'm wearing 320 plus shadow res. So I'm over capped. He's going to first hit back to full. And he's going to dot me. And you're going to see something here. Okay, so he dotted me. Now the first tick had no partial resist, right? Now every consecutive tick after that will not do a resist check. You see? Every tick will do full damage. You see that? So I was actually dying faster wearing full uh, shadow res gear because all the ticks don't check the, the resist, the resist RNG. And I feel like it wasn't like that. I never actually tested this against the shadow priest. So it might be different because he has shadow weaving, but I tested it against a regular priest. Try again. If, if I get it on the first tick, you, you will notice it. Cause I tested this with Hydra. Okay, we got partial here. You see? Mm 
You see how every tick has almost every tick has partials. That's because if the first dot tick doesn't resist, every tick will check for the RNG. So this is just unlucky, but you can see here three in a row, four in a row. So the reason why I completely scrapped the shadow res is because I think that's a bug. I don't think it's intended to work like that. And not only is shadow resistance bugged, but also fire resists is bugged. And I think this is something that happened when they changed. You guys remember in TBC when they changed. Um, so the fell hunter didn't have a million resist and it would just take partial resists instead. I think that's when this changed. Wait, we can test with more stuff, by the way. I can show you with mind blast. Another thing. Uh, and I can show you with mana burn. Another thing as well that I noticed, which is complete fucked. But uh, frost, if you have 300 frost res, my hit rate is 25%. I have 25% chance to just even land my spell. And that's because all my frost spells apply a slow. So it works like that. And it works the same for CC. So if he tries to fear me, he will have like, uh, he will extremely low chance to hit it. Uh, try fear me. But that's just the, the how binary spells work. You see fear, uh, the only thing Shadow Res does is basically deny fears. Uh, try uh, burn me, X5. And you're gonna see every single burn will land but it will do partial damage. And look at my mana. You see that? Every burn is doing 100 damage and burning 800 mana. You see that? So it's complete fucking useless against mana burn. And then also, uh, Mind Blast has 100% hit rate. Try Mind Blast me. Mind Blast can only miss from one, it has only a 1% chance to miss, but it will always do partial damage. Mind Blast will always do partial damage. And this is, I feel like this is not how it used to be because this is also how fire spells work. Like fire spells that don't apply a, a debuff, like Scorch Allez. and Fire Blast cool. also have a 100% hit rate. So, I actually debated playing Elemental Mage because of this, but I felt like it would be too bad into like rogues and stuff. Uh, so yeah, I spent all that time farming this uh, this Shadow Res gear and working on this strat uh, for it to, in the end, just be completely fucking trash anyway. And I would just have to go with like my emergency strat. So the strat that I actually did use was like a last uh, resort type of strat. I had something else prepared, you know, for the finals. If I fought snots. Um, but yeah. That's the way it goes. I'm pretty sure the partial thing is bugged though. I don't know if dot applications are supposed to resist. But for sure. If the first dot checks the resist uh, RNG. And, and then the, all of the rest of the dots do. Uh, versus if the first dots does full damage. And then all of them do full damage. That sounds like a coding issue. That does not sound uh, like that's how it's supposed to be. Because every individual dot should check the resist RNG. I'm not making any excuses. I probably would have still lost, by the way. But I'm just saying that was my idea that I had going into it. That was my strat. So I wasted all my gold, basically. <laughs> it would have been fun to watch the melee mage, huh? With the, with this, with the staff. Because this staff is actually OP as fuck. It's the highest DPS staff that you can get without raiding. This staff is like only a little bit lower DPS than, uh, than AT-ish. <laughs> but yeah, so that that was my that was my plan. I planned for a month, every day, uh, to have a reliable way to beat warlocks. Uh, it's a shame it didn't work, but uh, yeah. I don't want you guys to think I, I wasn't prepared for anything. I was, but uh, last minute it. Uh, I should have tested it earlier. If I tested it earlier, I would have had more time to figure out like a new strat. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a bug. Uh, with the dots because I die faster wearing 300 shadow res than if I'm wearing just stamina gear which is why I, I didn't even bring any of it out of the bank